In this lesson, you will learn the parts of a basic memo and the best process for writing one. Memos are common in-house messages that help get work done. Successful memos are short and sweet, both concise and reader-friendly. To be reader-friendly, a memo must look good on the page and make information accessible. Note the generous margins, spacing between parts, and use of lists. Basically, every memo has two parts, a heading section and a message. The headings label the message for present and future reference. The four standard headings are aligned vertically for clarity. The date line indicates when the memo was written. Use the full date, not abbreviations or other short forms. The to and from lines identify the intended reader and the writer. Make sure to spell these correctly and present them in parallel fashion. As a general rule, use full names. As the writer, initial next to your name to personalize the memo. The subject line identifies the memo's topic in a tightly worded phrase. Avoid vague or confusing wording. Instead, use precise terms that your reader will understand, that make the memo memorable, and that simplify filing. Capitalize the first word and all main words in your subject line. The second part of the basic memo delivers the message. Keep it focused on the subject. Don't mix two or three unrelated topics into one memo. Unless your message is very short, it typically follows a three-part structure. The opening builds on the subject line and usually states your main point. The middle adds supporting details and discussion. And the closing focuses on outcomes, responses, and action. To write such a successful memo, you should follow four basic steps. Pre-write, draft, Revise and refine. For pre-writing, focus on the following. What is your memo's purpose? What do you want it to achieve? Who is your audience? Who should receive your memo? How can it best serve that audience? Consider, too, secondary readers who might be shown a copy of your memo. What details does your memo need? List any specific details, facts, numbers, and so on that the memo should contain. To draft your memo, develop your list into sentences and paragraphs. First, expand on the subject line by stating your main point early and adding helpful background. Next, offer in a logical order all the key details that your readers need. Last, focus on the result or action that your memo calls for. However, if you are sharing bad news or seeking to be persuasive, it may be best to build up to the main point instead of stating it first. To revise your message, review its content, organization, and tone. Imagine how the reader might respond, and then, for clarity's sake, make any needed changes. To refine your memo, double-check word choice, sentence smoothness, correctness, and overall design. Remember that problems here can distort or confuse your message. Pre-write, draft, revise, and refine. These four steps will help you generate a successful memo.